Good morning, children. Last class we have seen, we discussed what is an algorithm, rules of algorithm, and small example. Yeah, exactly. Brush your teeth. The step by steps. Now here, another simple, one more example we are going to see. That is algorithm to pack your school bag algorithm to pack your school bag what would be the first step yeah you want to search the bag the previous day you come after tuition or after school you're so tired you threw or you kept somewhere else your uh, bag in the corner of the room and you search at last you found yeah bag is here no it is in your hand so we will see the what are the steps to st step to step the pack your bag what will be the first step we will see step one yeah what is step one open the bag open the bag okay next one what is next step step two yeah take out the school diary take out the school diary why we want to take out the school diary because you have to see the tender blow of that day Otherwise, you will forget. Oh, you will assume that I ah, you assume that okay, today is uh, Saturday, today is uh, Sunday, or today is uh, another day. So, you will make or will pack wrong textbook or books. Okay, so you have to see that. Take the school diary. Step three see the timetable. Ah, you have to see the timetable. What is the timetable of today? Then, step four go to your bookshelf because last day there was no computer subject today you have is it now what you do yeah, yeah you take it you already kept yesterday there and you took you take from there and keep it in the bag okay otherwise you know let us sir mm, little strict he will check otherwise he will send out to collect books from other class is it okay what will be the next one step five step five take out the books and notebooks ah not only textbook notebooks also because religious are used to say write two two or three questions of uh, that portion or whatever it is in that week so you have to write in the notebook okay so you have to bring the textbook and notebook also what is step six okay what is that keep them in the bag keep them in the bag after that last step yeah close the bag so these are the steps okay open the bag take out the diary and see the table and take the books from the shelf and uh, keep the books and textbook and notebooks and keep it them in the bag and close the bag these are simple steps or algorithm to pack your school bag okay we will go to the next symbol mathematical problem to solve algorithm here we got the output what is output pack your bag packed correct now the mathematical how we how the algorithm will be and what will be the result we will go to the next example example two what is that algorithm to calculate yeah calculate the sum and average of three numbers here there would be a two outputs in the first one yesterday's only one output what is that e clean clean teeth okay then second one is a pack your bag one output here it is two outputs what is that here one see here calculate the sum and find the average so two outputs should come we will see what will be the first step to get what you have to do get the first output sum you will see the first one okay what is that step one input the first number a input the first number a so first number uh, uh, for a is a variable you give the value 10 so assign the value 10 for in the a variable assign the value of 10 in a variable after that what is the next one step two yeah input the second number b 
so second number uh, what to write uh, mm, 20 okay second number will be 20 now what is the next one oh, of course yeah exactly you are predicting correct input the yeah because abc is there no input the third number c after that so three numbers we input we gave input abc what is the c number first will be um 10 next one burn 20 and third c means 30 okay now see here what will be the next step yeah so next one find the sum of three numbers the sum find the sum of three numbers that is here you see sum is equal to a plus b plus c a plus b plus c okay exactly then what will be the sum we will calculate what is the sum? first a means 10 okay then b 20 then c 30 okay so what is the sum sum 20 ah oh, you are very 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 good very good some are calculating with the what is the legs uh, and hands and taking parents uh, hands also are calculated about 1 2 3 10 2 no need simple no? it's an instrument 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 10 60 so what will be the output 60 now sum you got result the program is over no why why because ah, here you see calculate the sum is over one more is there what is that find out the average okay it average what will be the next step step 5 what is next step step 5 find the average a plus b plus c divided by 3 which is the first step find the average a plus b plus c already we found correct here this one we got what is the answer 60 correct no 60 what is next divide by 3 remember before coming to computer class especially these classes just you refresh the knowledge of uh, basic mathematics okay so 60 by 3 yeah what is that 60 by 3 uh, go, go, run 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 uh, take the book pencil pen uh, right no 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 simple 60 divided by 3 what is the answer 20 so what is the average 20 so here there are two outputs one is for sum what is the output here you see sum a b c a plus b plus c 10 plus 20 plus 30 what is the sum yeah 60 and average is equal to what is that sum 60 divided by 3 what is the answer here 20 now you got average now you got average now program is not finished why because after finding average you have to get the output if you have to get the output you print average okay print average already we started then there should be an end so start and you stop there so these are the this is the flow chart next uh, chart, next uh, class we will explain so these are the steps or uh, algorithm to print the average print the average start and stop and next day i will give a small small for homework okay that you do yourself no need to send me okay no, just you work on okay multiple three numbers simple simple example in the life or with the mathematics anything you yourself create a question and solve or create the algorithm for the solution then you practice it thank you